Suzanne Summers and husband Alan Hamill were married for 46 years, together for 55, and never lost one bit of spark that ignited when they met. The 76-year-old Three's Company star said that she and her 87-year-old husband even were having sex at least three times a day, starting before it was even light outside. What is this thing about 4.30 in the morning that suddenly like, oh there he is. I'm like, could you just wait, till the sun comes up? Said Summers, who died on Sunday, October 15th after a battle with breast cancer. He's on hormones. And then I'm really awake around 8 or so. We have busy mornings. Summers said she and Hamill never got bored or tired of each other because they were naturally attracted to each other and they made a point of working at it. Our relationship has always been amazing, she revealed. Now that our kids are raised and it's just me and Al, and we paid for the tuition, we paid for the weddings ad helped them get their start, now it's just us. Man, are we having fun. The couple would give each other weekly hormone shots that generated sexual arousal. Summers said she would inject her husband with testosterone every Tuesday, so Wednesday was always a very good day. I've never enjoyed anybody in my whole life the way I enjoy Al, Summers said. There is juice and zest in this chapter. We worked hard to get to this place where we're comfortable. And we are so content together. We dance together, and we have a cocktail together at night. It's romantic and sex. And it's not old people romantic. It's cool. The couple met when Hamill was hosting a short-lived 1969-1970 TV show called Anniversary Game, and she was one of the prize models. Hamill was married once before and has two children, son Stephen and daughter Leslie, from his first marriage. Summers has a son named Bruce Summers Jr. from a previous marriage during her teens. Summers was very open about their struggles early on to blend their families, admitting that their stepfamily hell almost broke them up as they battled constantly. But they got through it and came out more madly in love than ever before, Summers said. We argued a lot in the first 10 years because we were blending families, she said. And that's very difficult because there's no child who wants a new parent, so we're trying to put our kids together and just have to be patient. The last 10 years, I don't remember having an argument. We're so compatible that even a cross tone will hurt one another's feelings. Once Summers learned how to argue, they were able to put things right. Many years ago, I had a therapist who taught me how to argue, said Summers. So here's what you do, you never start any sentence with, you always, you never, or, you should. That's like backing the other person into a corner, and they have no choice but to strike. So here's how you do it effectively. When you do this, it makes me feel that. Try it, it works every time, and you just won't fight because then the other person says, well, I didn't mean to make you feel like that. And then you get a real, I'm sorry. And Summers said the two never spent their nights apart. Some people say, oh my gosh, I'd go nuts. I'd feel smothered. She said. But we're business partners also, so it never begins, it never ends, whether it's business or life or love or friends. I know it's weird. I miss him if he's in the other room, and vice versa. We're probably like those birds that pair up forever. Even after all the years together, Summers said the couple still had date nights and cocktail hours at their Malibu, California home, and made sure to give each other a lot of attention. He takes care of me in the morning, she said. He makes me coffee and it's really, really great coffee. And then at night we often date. And we'll share a tequila. Sometimes we dance. And then I make him a great dinner, and I always light candles, and I just keep the romance in the relationship. In fact, she added, they often wake up holding hands. I love to hug him and rub his hair, Summer said. He tells me I'm beautiful all the time and we hold hands while we sleep. It's the most beautiful part of my life. Summer's longtime publicist, R. Kuri Hay, announced her death in a statement sent to OK on behalf of her family. He wrote that she died, peacefully, at home in the early morning hours of October 15th surrounded by Hamill, her son Bruce, and her immediate family. The family was set to celebrate her 77th birthday on October 16th, but, instead, they will celebrate her extraordinary life. Hay added that the family wants to thank her millions of fans and followers who loved her dearly. A private family burial will take place this week, while a memorial will be held next month.